What's going on guys? All right, so I've got a video request here by a bunch of you on how to prep a vehicle before we wrap the vehicle. So, or pretty much any surface for the most part. Now, with a car, it's stored outside often and we get tree sap and we get insects from driving it all stuck to the paint. So, and there's also other things that are on the road that we don't know about that end up getting stuck to the paint. So I actually did a video of this yesterday where I did the full prep and I lost the audio at some points during halfway through the video. I did a 30 minute video which is kind of a bummer. Anyways, that was actually of me washing the car down. So this car is actually already clean. Uh, it just needs to be uh, prepped with the isopropyl alcohol still. So the couple of things that I want to show you on um, what I do for prep is that I use isopropyl alcohol and I have a clay rag. So we can use a clay bar or a clay rag and I highly recommend doing or using something like this because what this is going to do is going to pick up tree sap and insects and anything else embedded into the paint. Now when I ran my hand over the paint here yesterday, it felt like sandpaper. It was very rough and that was even after washing it. So I wash the car down first is what I do and I'll use two buckets. I have one for the wheels and one for the actual car itself. Uh, there's an orange and gray one in the back. And you can see them over there. So the gray one, I believe, the gray one is for the wheels. The orange one we use for the car. Now, when we wash the car, I'm not a professional when it comes to washing a car, but I recommend washing it from the top down and uh, use a separate sponge or a separate brush for the wheels. We don't want to drag up all the brake dust and put it onto the car. Now, when I washed the car, I started with the top and went around the vehicle and soaped everything and I used the bucket a few, few times just to dip my uh, sponge in and rinse it off and then I keep going around the vehicle then I rinse off the whole vehicle. Before I actually wash the car what I want to show you is I removed a couple of things all right so what I did is I removed the drip sill trims right here and these are fairly easy to remove on most cars all right Sometimes they're two sided taped on, sometimes they're clipped on, just depends. But they usually always come off. If your car doesn't have them, great. You'll have to put a seam on the roof, uh, on the body line there. If you're... So another one here is I remove the gas cap cover. Just because we get a lot of dirt in here. So I don't want to actually have to clean in here with a rag. Because it's, it's just going to saturate the rag with oil and grease and all kinds of stuff and gasoline. And we're going to end up blowing through them. So I might as well rinse it out with a pressure washer and soapy water and a sponge. Same with here, we had a ton of leaves and sand and dirt and everything built up. So it's, it's nice to take it out and then wash the car with it off because that's not gonna leak water into the car. Neither is the gas cap area. I've also removed the license plate on the back. If you have one on the front, I'd, rec I'd recommend removing that as well. And that's pretty much it as far as removing parts go. I wouldn't remove the tail lights or door handles window trims, that kind of stuff, because that will start to leak water into the car. We don't want that. So that's just what I do normally is before I wash the car as I take that stuff off. Now this front end has for sure been repainted, I can tell. Uh, I don't even think he knows, but we can, we can see the massive orange peel in the paint compared to the original, which is the hood is a much more glossy. And the front end is pretty stone chipped up. Now yesterday, when they dropped off the car, there was a ton of insects built up on the front end. So it's much better now. But again, we do have a lot of imperfections in the paint, as we can see. So I'm wrapping this car in Rolls Gold Chrome. So let's get back to prep, all right? So what you want to use for soap is we're going to use a, a degreasing agent for the most part. Um, you can use dish soap. Dish soap works really well. It's, it's very... Uh, tough on grease as uh, a lot of commercials will say. So dish soap works great if you're on a, on a budget you can pick a bottle up for like two three bucks. Uh, if not go to your auto parts store and pick up a bottle of anything that's that's car wash So basically. It's not really gonna anything that's not wax based actually sorry. You don't want a wax based soap because we don't want to leave a residue on the car. Even though we're going to strip it down it kind of defeats the purpose to use a wax based soap because we're going to have to end up stripping more off, of it, off with the isopropyl alcohol. So when I wash the car, I'll wash the whole car, wheels, wheel wells, all in here and everything, just because I don't want to actually have to take 
go through so many rags and so much isopropyl alcohol. The isopropyl alcohol is to make sure our surface is very pure in the end, but we don't want to use that to get rid of dirt and stuff like that as much as you might think. So I use a sponge or a brush in the wheel well and a separate sponge and make sure that's all clean, make sure the wheels are clean because it's important that the wheels are clean so we don't drag in dirt when we go to pull the vacuum paper off. Uh, what I do is I usually spray them down anyways with a compressor before I, wrap, before I start wrapping the car. Uh, that way the car stays where it is, doesn't pick up any more dirt and debris and then we're good to go. Now once I, once I wash the car with soap and water and the car's still wet, I use the clay rag. Now I rinse the car off all the soap, I rinse all the soap off the car and then I use the clay rag and go over the whole car and then I rinse the car off again. So I usually start with the top again and work my way down to the bottom. Mainly your, your, your areas that are going to be most concerning are going to be your hood, your front bumper, lower rocker panels here and the roof and the trunk because they're going to pick up a lot more debris like tree sap and stuff like that. So going over, I highly recommend using a clay rag. It'll make your surface that much smoother and the vinyl is for sure going to stick. It's not like it's not going to stick anyways. It's just, it's just going to make it more pure. That way you have the smoothest wrap possible. Now, when it comes to washing the car, be thorough. Be, get under the wiper blades, get under everything, get in, get in wherever you can, wherever you think that dirt is going to be. Because we don't want to drag that dirt in when we're going to wrap the car. And you'll find most, my wraps basically have no dirt under them because sometimes you run into the odd imperfection and it's questionable because you might not know if that's a stone chip or an imperfection in the paint or an actual little piece of dirt. Now when there is contaminants underneath the wrap, usually it comes in clusters. So there'll be like four or five little bits or 20 little bits or a dozen little bits, little specks because that's, you didn't clean an area nearby and it dragged that dirt in. Now uh, after that, once I go over with the clay rag or clay bar, we rinse the car off and then we dry the car. After that, we're going to park the car wherever we're going to keep it to wrap it. We're going to start removing panels. So what I do is I'll remove all the panels or whatever I can. I usually remove one side and then leave the other side. So that way, just in case I might not remember how to put something back if it's been a couple of days, I can resort back to the other side. Front bumpers, rear bumpers, I don't often take the rear bumper off, but the front bumper is very straightforward usually. And if you don't know, if you don't think you're going to remember how to put things back, take pictures. And that's what I used to do when I first got into say, taking cars apart. I take a lot of pictures and I can resort back to the pictures. Okay, these screws go there, these ones go there. And that it gives you a good reference on how to put things back together. On top of that, it's good to take a picture of the front end because it can get a little bit more complicated when we're thinking about, okay, now I can't see it anymore because I put a sheet of vinyl over top of it. What am I going to do? I need to, I, I don't know how far in I have to go. And especially once you remove grills and things like that, you don't have anything stopping you. So I'll remove this front bumper, I'll remove the grills, that'll make this job a lot nicer. And I'll remove the fog light areas, but I've gotten used to it. Now, in the beginning, I used to take a lot of pictures of the front bumper as well. So anyways, besides point, let's get into the actual uh, preparation right before we wrap. So what I normally do, as I've done in my videos before, is I use a compressor. So I blow away any extra dirt, debris, contaminants that might be kicking around, that car you know, might have settled overnight, fallen from the ceiling, who knows. We don't want to rub them around on the hood or on the car with isopropyl alcohol. So I'll use the, I'll use the isopropyl alcohol and uh, it's fine, you can come in. <laughs> and I'll prep the surface afterwards. So I'll use the compressor and then I'll use the compressor again after I use the isopropyl alcohol. What you want to do with the isopropyl alcohol is I usually spray it over a large area and then I spray it on the rag for the edges because we don't want isopropyl dripping from the edges or deep recesses and stuff like that where it might not dry. It does evaporate pretty quickly, but if, it's, if there's too much there, it will take more time to dry. And that means when your vinyl goes to touch it, it will not stick. It's gonna actually uh, disintegrate your adhesive. So you will not have any adhes adhesion in that area. So I'm always wiping in between all these cracks and crevices and everything like that, always as far underneath as you can. This is what, this way we don't draw in any contaminants and we have good adhesion for the wrap itself. Uh, especially like around edges, grease tends to sit more like road grime, oil from the road, gasoline, that kind of stuff. It's just not, it's not pretty underneath and in these cracks that have never ever been cleaned, right? We always wash the exterior of the car, but in between all these cracks has never been washed basically. 
So we have to be super thorough when we're doing that. And that's pretty much it, guys. So once I wipe the, once I wipe the panel down with the isopropyl alcohol, I use a compressor. I blow away just in case any, there's any lint from the rag, which is get lint-free rags. These are good ones. And, uh, and just blow away the contaminants. You know, even though I just washed this car, there's, there's something kicking around right there, you know? So just got to be careful and be thorough with your preparation. The preparation for me, it takes the most time. It's the most time consuming. If I didn't have to prep a vehicle, it would save me probably like four hours. So I could, and I can wrap a car in like six. So it's not the most time, but it does eat up a considerable amount of time. So as far as the actual wrapping part goes, that's the easy part. But you wanna have a nice pure surface and a clean surface and a, and a dust free surface so that your wrap looks as smooth as possible. Of course, we can't avoid stone chips and things like that or, or natural imperfections in the paint, but hey, it happens. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a video on how I go about prepping the surface. Super minimal materials needed, isopropyl alcohol, soap, two buckets is good. Always wash the wheels, get in the wheel wells, get underneath the bumpers, get, get in and take a couple of things off the car like the, like the drip sill trims, the gas lid cover, and the license plates. Those are like my for sure go-tos when I remove panels off the car before I wash the car. Anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope the sound worked this time. And uh, yeah, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys wanna see more what this car looks like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I do have the boat I'm doing videos on as well. It's right over there. And yeah, I'll do some videos on this as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care.